Alright, so I'm going to show you guys a, another couple of methods to do this. Uh, again, we're trying to rotate this rectangle from here down to this point. On its, I mean, on the top edge is fine. We want the bottom edge, well, close. We want the bottom edge to hit there. Uh, this first way I'll show you is uh, the way I used to do it. Like, literally, the problem is... Uh, like nine out of ten times it works but there's always that error that can happen so you're always checking you always have to check it but uh and it's like the brute force method so i'm going to start with uh, a circle uh there's other ways to draw that i'm just getting an arc in here i need a piece of an arc but since I'm doing just straight up SketchUp, I'll do it. So now this is a part of that circle. It's still an arc. Uh, where's my entity? See, it's an arc with uh, two segments. Well, I'm going to make that like 900 segments. Or nine, 901. You know, just brute force. Uh, this tiny little line now is 900 segments, 901. Um, you know, like if that was a real circle, then basically that's what I'm doing is forcing that into a real circle. Uh, so right now this is 90 down here, uh, 98.6803. Uh, this can be kind of awkward to getting it to in the right spot with all these segments you gotta zoom way in I mean right there it's showing me the same length 98.6803 so it's probably gonna work on this one uh, so that's our snap point uh, rotate yeah you know and it's showing it's showing that it hit, so here's a hyper zoom on a Mac. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's showing it hit. I mean, the, the numbers are right also, so, you know, I, th I would say that time it worked, but it can not work every now and then. So... That's how I used to do it. Uh, yeah, I actually have to do this not super often, but I do have to do this stuff. So uh, This next method is going to, it's more of a calculator method, except the calculator stays in SketchUp. Uh, I don't really see anybody doing this, but it's it's pretty cool. This isn't the best situation to do this in, but there are times when I actually do this. Uh, obviously, you gotta have SketchUp Pro to get this sweet calculator. It's a, it's a dynamic component. So uh, I already made this a component. It's a rectangle. Um, I'm, for this first one, I'm gonna do uh, basically I want to make this triangle. with this distance here being the hypotenuse. So I need to go uh, a squared plus b squared, c squared. Uh, let me make this line a component, or call it line. I need to set the axis. Since I need to know the length of it, I'm gonna just put, the, put it on the red axis. Now, so now that'll be our length x uh, and I'm going to make a guide point here make that guide point a component so now I have three components it's uh, this rectangle this line our hypotenuse and the guide point so uh, we make all of those a component. 
that's our thing. And now we have this. We have our, uh, the guide, the line, the rectangle all in here. So the guide, we're going to be wanting to move the guide here. So that's going to be our position x. That's where we're going to enter our calculation. Uh, the line, which will be our hypotenuse. We just need the length x. You know, remember I put the axis accordingly, so uh, length x. And then the rectangle, we need this distance, which is going to be the length of y. You know, in this way we're not like jotting all these numbers down, taking them out, writing them on paper, calculator, etc., bringing them back in. This it'll do it all in here. Again, this is like the long method, but hopefully some people will kind of see that this can be applied to other situations. So, uh, so in this case, yeah, I guess we just need to do c squared, the hypotenuse, minus this gives us. Or the square root of that gives us that. So uh, that's a square square root of hypotenuse. Yeah, and I wish we could do that squared, but of course we gotta write it out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need another parenthesis in here. So that minus square root or length of y squared uh, push enter you see the guide point moved over you know uh, let me explode this I mean basically what we did just so I can help clarify it you know we built this triangle here Except that it wasn't that, you know, normally you couldn't snap to that, there was no guide, but now there is. So anyways, now we can just grab it, rotate it, done. You know, kind of the long method, but again, hopefully, you know, some people might see. Uh, yeah, and there's probably like a thousand different calculations you could do for this. For instance, I'll uh, let me get rid of the guide point. I'll do it with trig. We know this length. We know this, the hypotenuse, so we're pretty much set. Let me make this a component. Uh, that's our thing without an I. Um, shoot. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. I'm bringing that up. Did I mess that up? I think I might have messed that up. Going into my outliner. Yeah, let me. I'm, I'm exploding that. I'm just remaking a component out of it. Let's just start from scratch here. Right. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See, maybe I should have worked this out before I made a video. So. Let's try it. The line, I'm going to need the length of it. Len x. There's a line underneath this. What I'm going to do is rotate that line. Rotation, uh, the z axis. You know, I want to, I want to get that line in here somehow. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, it's a uh, sine opposite over hypotenuse. I know the opposite. I know the hypotenuse. So 
So let's try to make a little calculation. Uh, it's going to be a negative because it's going to be spinning down. Uh, so it's going to be an A sine equals a opposite, which is this, divided by the hypotenuse. And there, you know, it rotates it for you. So uh, now we just grab there, bring it over, done. Looks like can... <sighs> you know, so we're in there. So that's three, I guess, the two kind of ways. Uh, the dynamic component, component, again, like I don't think this is the best situation to do that in. It really comes in handy for like certain type of arrays and whatnot, but uh, just kind of throwing that out there for the the nerd factor. And uh, you know, it's definitely calculator using a math and whatnot, but this is doing it without going to an actual calculator. Um, yeah, and like there's probably. Uh, there's probably 20 different formulas you could come up with. You could do it to where you actually are rotating this into place through the, whatever. Those were just the, the two that I saw right away. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got. See ya.